What's up my friends, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be kind of a laid back sort of talking video, but today's video I wanted to bring up the topic of hand. With this year we're supposed to be having the new consoles, PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. Which one do you get? Hmm? Now I know, you know what you're thinking, oh boy, this dude's saying PlayStation 5 or Xbox but he's having a PlayStation game playing in the background. Listen, just listen here, all right? I want you to have a little backstory about me, okay? I've grown up playing any console possible. I've owned a Sega Genesis in the past. I've owned multiple Nintendo consoles. I have a Nintendo Switch myself. I have played Xbox games before growing up, but I have never personally owned an Xbox. That's one of two reasons, really. One, because of back when the original Xbox controller it had that big, beefy controller that was not possible for a kid in my personal opinion. It was very uncomfortable for me. And two, I just never really had any interest in any, any Xbox games growing up. And even now, like, I really do want Xbox to succeed and not get beat down because in all honesty, Xbox 360 generation one 100 percent with that there's no denying that but you know the only games i mostly see from xbox that are like big is either halo gears of war forza and fable occasionally and that's really about it any of those things i don't really have much interest anymore especially like with halo i know halo is a really good legendary game actually but it's bungie doesn't really work on halo it doesn't work on halo anymore they work on destiny and i feel like i get kind of that halo-ish vibe from destiny in some sort of sense so i don't really have an interest in destiny and the same goes with gears of war it's, it's a third person shooter but i've grown up already playing like uncharted and all that sort of stuff so i never really had any interest in that but I'm not like a Sony fanboy to think that PlayStation is the most elitist of consoles and have every good game. Listen, I didn't buy Last of Us 2 and was n and never interested in buying Last of Us 2 unless somebody gives it to me for free. So I don't think every PlayStation game is great and I have never played every PlayStation game in all honesty. So anyway, I'm just wondering, what do you think is going to work best for you? An Xbox? or PlayStation, PS5 or Xbox Series X? Or are you a person of culture who's able to have all systems and play every single game? Now what does that mean? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but Xbox has this thing where it's called Xbox Game Pass. And you're able to play game, pretty any much Xbox game, on an Xbox or on a PC. It's like a streaming service, but for video games. And also a lot of their games also just Xbox exclusive games also get released on PC for some reason. I don't know why. Now if you're somebody like me, you have a gaming PC, you could already enjoy Xbox games if you're interested. Especially the newer ones that come out because usually they haven't come out on PC. Or you could be somebody that has an Xbox One. You could probably still play the games with the Xbox uh, Game Pass, the newer games, I believe. And, you know, um, and we all know, we all know that PlayStation has exclusives and games that are exclusive to PlayStation, especially now with the launch of the PlayStation 5 with Spider-Man Miles Morales is a PS5 only game from what I hear, only PS5. Now that's already a system seller right there because I played the Spider-Man game back in tw back two years ago. Fantastic game, fantastic game. I loved it it's for any Spider-Man fan, really. But you know, it's kind of hard. You, you know, it's hard to decide. You know, if you're somebody who's tight on money, you're like, I can only get one system. Which one should I get? And I always say, get the console that you know your friends are gonna get, in a sense. If you have buds that play on PlayStation, but you're an Xbox boy, you might have to just get a PlayStation so you can play with your buds, you know? 
or you know if you're somebody that likes single player games like me and you want the best possible experience with single player games I say your best bet is probably to get a PlayStation 5 because you know Sony has a lot of good studios you know excluding a few questionable ones obviously but for the most part PlayStation has the games as the exclusives in both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are roughly the same in power with the Xbox a little bit more powerful than that PlayStation 5 but here's the thing what's all that power going to do if you don't really have a good variety of games to take advantage of it like exclusives wise and I think that's the real issue here because you know you have this real powerful console but you have like pretty much the same games as you have before and you know it's fine you know if you want an Xbox you know that's your business you know if you're happy with your purchase you're happy with your purchase but for me personally I'm going to get a console where I know where the exclusives are where the a lot of good single-player games are that's what I'm going to get and I've made my decision I'm gonna get a PlayStation 5 so if you're somebody who has the money right this is the best decision PC for the Xbox games PlayStation for the exclusives and the same goes for a Nintendo switch as well Nintendo has a variety of games like I have a Nintendo switch you know if there's a Nintendo game that interests me I'm able to play it as well so either it's Xbox game for me or a Nintendo game for PlayStation I'm able to play it because I have a gaming PC that could play you know the um what's the word the multi-platform games at better resolution better frame rate I have a PS5 I am gonna have a PlayStation 5 for the exclusive games to PlayStation and then I have a Nintendo switch so I'm able to enjoy all games and if you're somebody like that cool but if you have to have a make a hard decision I would have to say look at where the games at if pl Xbox has more games this generation get Xbox if PlayStation has more get a PlayStation but from what it looks like especially with that Halo Infinite being delayed to next year I don't really think it is a Xbox exclusive that's coming out like this winter and that's not good <laughs> like that's not good at all I mean this isn't being fanboy or anything this is just being real with you so I don't know maybe I'm wrong but anyway um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been um, it's been quite rough trying to make videos but I've been trying to make do with what I have here today but I do believe my next video will be a Destiny 2 video so be on the lookout for that also I will be streaming on Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time of this week so be on the lookout for that so anyway guys thank you all for watching the video hope you all have a very peaceful and wonderful day and you know play video games have fun and uh peace out <laughs>